I think we've we've covered really uh, you've covered extensively the the design and tech approaches. Um, is there a, is is there any thoughts? And maybe you, you you can't answer this. I'll ask the question. But you know we've got phones here. Yep. So what could be next? What is there something else that? That we're working on? No, well, not necessarily you or companies like you. What do you? I mean, you must look at other products and you think, yeah, yeah, do you know what? In an ideal world, yeah. wouldn't that be cool if... So. It, yeah, it always depends on um, how the, the, the business model actually works. If you look at more established products that have been there for a longer time, let's say laptops, they are already designed along modular lines for different reasons, right? Mm -hmm. Because you want to be able to configure it and these products live mm -hmm. quite long and so it's, it's easier to, uh, to maintain. Uh, and they don't suffer the same type of abuse that, let's say, smartphones do. They're not in your pocket, you don't drop them on the floor all the time, mm -hmm. right? So that's a bit different. Um, also, you don't, users don't tend to change them very frequently, mm -hmm. right? Laptops last two, three, four, five years easily. So the economics are different, right? In, in the smartphone space, uh, consumers are looking for something, f I say, new, and they are they are used to changing their phones every time they change their their mobile subscription contract. It's about every two years, maybe a bit, maybe a bit less, mm -hmm. right? So manufacturers react to that and they try to make it as cheap and as compact and as simple as possible while making it attractive and so on. So they focus on different things, mm -hmm. but usually the economics are are driving uh, towards cost reduction pretty mm -hmm. much everywhere, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's 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 been the problem. Yes. Yeah, getting the cost out of yeah. the production. And then the supply chains react to that, yeah. right? You cannot get a lot of the components for longer than a year, two years, sometimes three years. It's, yeah. it's quite a stretch. But the but that's again with the design of the product. I, I often think it's this interesting conversation uh, uh, situation between um, business model and technology and engineering. Yes. Yes. And that's a game changer. Yes, and that's also, I mean, when we, when we start designing in some, uh, uh, some features or some components, we need to also look at what's the business model of the suppliers. Yeah. Are they going to evolve in the next one, two, three years? Are they going to uh, continue supplying? Or their business model is basically uh, following the, the industry trends and you just replace whatever component you have, no, you have now for a lower cost version or a higher performance one in 12 months? Mm -hmm. Or is it something that they're going to be using for a number of years? Yeah, it's interesting. Well, Olivier, this is, this is fantastic. And uh, thanks for giving us your insights into how you make Fairphone work. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.